This is the last thing that you wrote. 10 theta equals n. You want to find an angle of inclination, how much the angle is like off from the horizontal. This is how you do it. It's really easy, right? All you need is the gradient. So I want us to have a look at this guy, uh, or this interval rather. 10 theta equals. Now, let's have a look. I've given you a pair of coordinates. Which one would you like to be x1, y1? Top one. Sure, why not? x1, y1, which makes this guy down here x2, y2. So let's start to rehearse. I'm going to have a look at my gradient formula. It's y2 minus y1. Do you agree with that as the right? Yes? Yes. Look okay. By the way, I'll just point out, that's going to be negative. Why is it negative? Because it's, yeah, look, it's, slow, it's sloping down. You see that? It's not rising at all. It's, um, it's dropping. So it's got negative rise. Okay, what's the run? Not the value. What am I going to put into the fraction? It's going to be 5, take away 0. So I'll pop that in. Like so. So if I just uh, simplify a teeny bit, that's what I get. Right, now 10 theta equals that, but I want theta, not 10 theta. So you reach for your calculator, you say shift 10, 10 inverse, and then you supply this number. Okay. Now, I want you to notice what happens when you press equals. Can someone give me the number? So it'll always be 10. Okay. Yes, it is always 10 okay. if you're working out. This. Okay. Now, Kate has said to us, and I'm pretty sure, can I get some confirmation? Yeah. You're at a negative yeah. angle, yeah. and it's about 38, etc. Yeah, that's right, I'm getting to this. Now, hold on. This is weird for two reasons. Number one, uh, negative? Since when were angles negative? How are you supposed to measure that? Secondly, look back at your definition for the angle of inclination. Look back at the definition. Yeah. For theta, say it again. I have done it. I, I haven't written down the answer. You'll see why. Anyway. You've worked out the angle in here, right? But we want which angle? Where's the angle I want? The real theta. It's with the positive angle, x-axis, right over here. This is clearly not 38.59, whatever, 569, okay? That angle is huge. It's obtuse, isn't it? So have a look at this. This angle is important. It's just not the one I want. What is this angle? It's the other one. And that's why it's negative. Do you see that? Look. It's negative because it's not in the right spot. Look, it's going down underneath the axis, right? It's 38.569 that way, not that way. So I need this angle, 38.569 dot dot dot. How is that connected to the angle I want? Yeah, it's just the supplement, isn't it? So I'm actually going to write not this, but uh, what is wrong? 180 degrees minus that. Okay, so just coming back to where we were, has someone worked out what 180 minus 38 point la 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 is? Has someone got it? Anyone? 141 point dot 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 degrees. Uh, in this case, you could do one of two things. You could round that off to the nearest degree pretty easily, but often you guys as five three students will be asked to convert to the nearest minutes rather than the nearest degree. So you need to look for this button. You know this button? This is the degrees, minutes, seconds button. Wait, so what do we change it to a plus? Because usually when you like have to... What is it that you're changing to a plus? The 38.5. This guy here? Yeah, what do you change it to? <laughs> well, this angle here is 38.569 degrees. Oh, okay. But the angle I want is 180 minus that. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Look. Has someone pressed degrees, minutes, seconds and um, got yeah, something out? Yeah, Can you yeah, ring out the entire display for me, Alan? Yeah. 
Uh, 141 degrees. Yep. 25 minute, minutes. Yep. Seconds, and then minutes and then seconds. Uh, 51.6 seconds. 51.6. Okay. Now, I'm writing out the whole thing here just to make a note. Degrees, minutes, seconds are a little bit confusing, right? Does anyone know why minutes are called minutes? Because they are minute, which means small, okay? Does anyone know why seconds are called seconds? Because it's the second minute division of angles, of hours, whatever it is that you're uh, dividing, okay? Now, degrees, how many minutes in a degree? There are 60 minutes in a degree, just like there are 60 minutes in an hour. How many seconds are there in a minute? There are 60 seconds in a minute, just like for angles as it is for time. So rounding here is a little bit different. You have to be careful. Um, 25 is still okay. It still rounds down to 141 as the original line told you. But let's round this off to the nearest minute now. So this is 141 degrees and 20... 26. 26 minutes. Why is it 26 again? Because that's clearly closer to a whole minute, isn't it? So 26. Let's write to the nearest minute here. How many seconds in a minute? 60. 